Well, hello, Sagittarius. How are my Sagittarians doing out there? Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot if you're new. My name is Kelly. Welcome back if you are returning into my tribe. What is up, my tribe? Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be your love read, Sagittarius, for September 1st through the 15th, 2020. Any love energies? This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is a general read, so it is not going to resonate for all of you. So just take it resonates and leave what doesn't. My incense is not being kind to me today. Um, it's spitting the ashes this way instead of over there on the holder. Um, uh, if it doesn't resonate, <laughs> do check the other place and your chart. Sometimes those resonate more. Many times they can resonate more. And even if it does resonate, you can get more information from those other placements in your chart. Particularly Venus for love. All right, so we're going to get an oracle card, and then we will clarify what's wrong. All right, let's see what, what's going on here. I'm going to try to put this in a place where the ashes will not hit the cads. All right, Sagittarius. Well, we have... Hmm, the card that popped is Balance, Spirituality, and Practicality. And on the bottom of the deck, bring love into the situation. So, could be... Do you mind? I mean, I can't move this any other place. It's spinning it right in the center of the desk. Not over there. <laughs> I'm going to put these over here. I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to put the cards down here. I hope you can see it, because I do not want ashes on the cards. All right, Sagittarius. So bring spirituality, balance spirituality and practicality. So you may be trying to be, stay grounded, be practical about a situation if you've met somebody, trying to keep it under wraps, trying to keep it on the low down. You know, you don't want to get too excited here. But, you know, you may want to talk to spirit and, and, and meditate. And spirituality can just be your intuition. What are you feeling on this? What is your feeling on this? Because with bringing love into the situation, how many cats do we have here? Too many, sorry. But you did have the um, five of swords. A little bit of a challenge here. All right. Those three were hanging by... A little thread there, so let's start it. So we'll do, so this is going to be some sort of a, kind of like the past influence, the present, and the, the near future. So, you're feeling it, Sagittarius, you are feeling it. This may be somebody you know from your past, maybe somebody you've already known. Maybe you've been friends, but or maybe you've met this person and you weren't sure about getting involved with them, but now you're ready to take that leap of faith. You're ready to have a whole new beginning. Ah, and bringing spirituality into the, and practicality. Spirituality, balance it, is, is, you see how the person is just kind of hanging on by a twig there? And it's like, let go. Let go, and for those of you who are Christian, let go and let God. But let go and let spirit. It's let go of any control you may feel like you need to have on this situation and just let spirit take over and say, I like this person. I would like to get involved with this person. You just got to take that leap of faith and say, let's do it. Let's do it and see what happens. And you can work on it. Oh, yeah, you can, I mean, I got, I got cut off in my last reading, so I'm going to try not to get cut off, Sagittarius. I just, oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> um, you're working... No, it's a, in the near future. In the near future, keep working at balancing your spirituality and practicality. Okay? There's the Ten of Cups. That came out for... What did I just do? Little, 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 uh, Libra. I just did Libra. You're looking for... You're looking for just happiness and love. All right. Sagittarius, don't even, don't even tell me. You're afraid of heartbreak. You know, who is it? In love, it's hard. It's hard to get past that sometimes. But, you know, if you're practical about it and really get grounded and think about it and then maybe meditate on it a little bit and just talk to spirit and say, you know what? I'd really like to have someone in my life, but what can I do to bring love into, into the situation? Or if it's a certain person, what can I do here? All right, for the fool, we have six of pentacles. So it's a give and take situation here. Spirit will give to you. If you give spirit a chance. If you take a chance. You gotta take that chance though. Three of cups, you gotta balance your mind, your heart, and that'll and that will fill your own cup. And you can celebrate because then you'll know this is what was meant for you. This is what you want. 
seven of cups. You have seven, you have an eight and a seven, okay? This is kind of like infinity. But with the seven, you have options. Just work on thinking about making some sort of a solid choice here. Find your truth. Find your truth and love here, Sagittarius. I don't want to run out of time. I'm kind of dwelling on this here. Five, I think I have a little, wait, what? All right, sorry, I didn't mean for the pause, but I just I have more time than I thought I did. Um, I almost see this, this Queen of Cups as you're feeling it inside. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition that it will lead you. Trust spirit and the intuition. That's where you balance your spirituality. You don't have to go, I mean, you are taking a leap of faith, but you don't have to go flimsy floppy into love and just throw yourself at them and say, okay, here I am. You can, it's a give and take kind of situation. Maybe um, give yourself a break. Take a little time out. Think about it. That's what I'm hearing with the give and take. And work on it. I think you can work together, but I'm almost hearing with the Eight of Pentacles that you approach love maybe in the same way. Maybe it's time to give a different approach. You may be doing it the same way every time, and you say, why do I keep ending up with these, these mismatched people? With the Seven of Cups, you have options. Think about your options and come to a conclusion. Come to that truth. Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady wins the race. This is not a sprint. This is a, it's a marathon. Life is a marathon. But it's, it's, you know, take your time. Get to know the person. Well, did I not set my alarm or something? Well, anyways, I'm sorry. It's, it's so distracting to have to be timed on here. And I only have so much space on my phone. Um, I'm just bringing love into the situation. I'm almost, your commitment is being tested as underneath that. I'm almost hearing that you may be overthinking this, you know, be practical with your thoughts and balance that spirituality, that intuition and those thoughts and then approach love. I don't know. I'm, and that's Sagittarius. I'm getting a feeling that whoever is you're thinking of is a good match for you. We'll see in two weeks. I don't know if this helped anybody. I'm not sure if it resonated for anybody. It's a little bit all over the place. If you do like these readings, do give me a thumbs up, please. And comment. I would love to hear from you. Subscribe and join the tribe. Uh, I pay attention to the, the views, the comments, and the likes. So I know, I think those are the people that are more interested in the love situations. Those are the ones I do first. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I don't want to be cut off like I was in the last one. So I appreciate you tuning in. I hope you will join me again. Sagittarius. Peace out.